Hi everybody, today we're filling this field of the synthesizer and we will even do this twice and we will have a lot of new features. So let's see what we have here. I prepared a bit of sound. Here we have an oscillator with a square wave and everything set up. And here we have an oscillator with a strange wave and everything is set up, but that level is at zero. So we will only hear oscillator number one. And I set up a filter and I set the filter to use the envelope generator for the filter. And for demonstration, we don't use any LFO yet. So let's hear a sound. Now let's have a look at the LFOs. And obviously five things already changed. The first thing is that this rate multiplier is no longer on this big button, but it's just a little switch here. And right next to it, we have the option to tempo sync the low frequency oscillator so we can set this to quarter notes, for example. And as soon as we touch that dial here, it jumps back to dial. And then something changed that we can't see because it vanished. During the last days, we could adjust the fine tune modulation here in LFO1 and the filter modulation amount in LFO2. And these options now are gone. And one more thing that we can see is that we're not having two LFOs, but four. But let's go back to the option that is gone. And this also explains why the rate knob had to become such a little field here, because now we're using this big button here for the matrix. And when I click here, I open the modulation matrix for LFO1. And I thought it would be fun to have this green on black matrix thing here. This modulation matrix gives us all the options to modulate what we want. So we could modulate oscillator one, level and panorama or transpose or fine tune or even the pulse width modulation up here. We can do all this for oscillator two and our filter frequency modulation we have down here. So let's now see how this works. First, we find the parameter that we want to modulate. Let's say the level of oscillator one, which would be this one here. And what we already knew from the last days is that we choose an amount for the modulation. And this is down here, 7.5. Of course, I can change that. But now there are two more options. Let's first see the controller, which is now off. So level is not modulated and we can switch that to on. So now our level is modulated. Let's hear how it sounds. And when we modulate a level, the resulting effect is called a tremolo. And then we have this mode, which is no plus and minus. And when you click that, you get this X percent. Let's go back to plus and minus. And this mode means that we are now modulating around the value that we put here in level. So the modulation makes it go up and down and up and down. And if we now choose this X percent thing, it will be modulated below that value that we choose here so that the top value would always be what we choose. <laughs> This can be useful in some cases, but I think you'll find out yourself when to use which option. So now we're modulating the level of this oscillator one. Let's hear which effects we can achieve when we change this modulation rate. and which effects we have if we change the shape. So now let's get back to this modulation matrix and let's have a look at the controller again. So we can switch it off and on and we can choose mod wheel or aftertouch. And what it does is if I choose mod wheel, this modulation will not have any effect if my mod wheel is turned down. So I can blend in the modulation with my modulation wheel. Let's hear some of that. Yeah. 
And of course, the same for the aftertouch. For all who don't know what aftertouch is, this is when I play a key and while holding it, I change the key pressure. And this allows me to control the modulation directly with my playing hands. But now let's modulate the pulse width. Let's put this to on and give it an offset. And we can already see what is happening. Maybe we want to make this a bit slower. And now hear how it sounds. Maybe we want to disable the filter for this effect. And now let's see what else we can do. Let's go back to the matrix, disable this, and let's go for fine tuning oscillator 2. For that, of course, we must turn on oscillator 2 and hear what happens. So that's a bit slow. Let's make this faster. And just for the fun, go to fat mode and make it stereo. And now let's try this with different LFO speed. Or with a square shape. Sine wave. or even crazy settings. More obvious. And now, again, a bit of delay and a bit of attack. Let's turn on that filter again. And I did all these things with the LFO number one, but of course you can choose completely different settings for each LFO and each LFO features its own modulation matrix. And you see now we have many options to have an influence on the sound and the most important, how the sound changes over time. And this now really starts being a sound design tool. So now there are a lot of features to play with and I hope you have fun playing and bye bye.